So I've got the Umarex Zelos. I like Zelos better. Umarex Zelos. Um, got the Hawk Vantage mounted on it. I've got the JSB 1813s um, loaded up in the mag. It's um, high capacity. It's a 20 shot mag. So I've got the JSB 1813s loaded up in the 20 round mag. It's a high capacity mag, which is really sweet. And I'm going to get it sighted in at 25 yards. I may not. All right, let's take a shot at this paper and see where this guy's hitting. All right, I see where you are this time. Just a little high and right still. Okay, let's shoot. I'm gonna shoot a group. I'm gonna move over to the left target and see how this groups before I move on any further. Maybe it just needed time to settle. Cause I'm pretty sure Maybe I'm, let me shoot them. They're all going right there. Oh yeah. Uh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. It does love, it does love the JSB 1813s. Um, this is going to be a 25 yard pellet test um, out in Oklahoma. I'm not at home, so I don't have everything that I normally have with me. I've got some, but I'm going to do a quick 25 yard pellet test with the Zelos. I think that's Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. We're gonna see what its favorite pellets are um, for when I get back home and I do the review. Starting from lightest to heaviest, like I normally do, I've got the Predator GTOs, extremely light fellas there. I'm gonna shoot for center. terrible at all and not too far off so we will continue GTOs were the first on to the Crossman ultra magnums I find these to be um, great pellets um, the Crossman ultra magnum 4.14.3 grain yeah That was a great group. Great group. I wonder if it's gonna be a tough one to pick its favorite ammo. I like them like that. Next up, H&N Sport Field Target Trophies. These are 14.6 grain. I will have to go out there and change out my target after I get these, the first five shot. Five different kinds of ammo that is. Let's see where we are as far as air. It is regulated, so should be able to continue until we hit the regulator pressure of, it's about 1900. We're at 25. So it seems like that would be uh, about 20 shots, maybe a little more than 20 shots so far taken, so maybe Get a little more than one mag per fill. Oh man, that was lovely. That was a um, very, very nice group. Best one so far. All right, these are the Hades. We're topped off. I've got a new target up. Um, so far, we're getting pretty good results out of everything. The um, the um, Hades did not shoot very well. All right, these are the H and Sport 15s. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I am going to shoot one more, guys, because if I can stick this in there without. I'm going to single shot one to see if it lands right there with the other four. Oh, <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Um, it may have been that first shot. I just popped it off. The air pressure kind of getting settled a little bit. So that was, um, that was very decent. Very, very decent. Next up, the AEA. Oh, I have a hard time saying that. AEA Center Punch. These are 15.9 grain. Yeah. Same hole. Beautiful. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one to pick favorites. JTS Dead Centers. 18.1 grains. So the point of impact changed a decent amount, but the grouping size is lovely. Just absolutely lovely. All right, we've got three more regular pellets left. Um, three regular pellets, the JSB 1813s, which I did, I did shoot these earlier and at 25 yards, they shot beautifully. I was out here just kind of messing around. Oh. Well, that group wasn't as good as the original group I got with this one at 25 yards. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, not bad. I think that was it. Not bad at all. Let's top it off, uh, switch out targets. For these last ones, I'm gonna actually take the main camera off of me and put it on the target. All right, last pellet, H&N Sport Barracuda Extreme, Barracuda Hunter Extreme. All right, here we go. I'll go for the center. Yeah, it looks like similar results to the um, JSB Hades. Not great. All right, guys, so that was the Umarek Zealous Zelos. Z Zelos. Um, I've heard a lot of people say Zelos, so I guess I'm supposed to say it like that. But, um, in 22 caliber, I did some pellet testing at 25 yards. It's kind of windy, so I'm not the wind whisperer like Rick, so I'm not gonna take um, shots in the wind. I'm used to having my um, fence, not for testing anyways. I wanna be able to show the um, product in its optimal performance. So in a windy situation, that's not gonna do it. So I just tested pellets at 25 yards. I am gonna do more with this gun. I'm in Oklahoma. So when I get home and have everything that I need, I will do more with this one. But this is going to have to suffice for now. And it's going to be tough to pick a favorite. So if you guys wouldn't mind, again, I know you guys already did this with me with the um, BRK. But if you guys wouldn't mind, again, helping me out, telling me which pellet you think shot the best in the Zelos 22. That's going to be it for today, guys. I'm Aragon Angie with Backyard Shooting. Thank you, Umarex. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya.